I showed this display unit a couple of weeks ago in a video and um, I remarked then that I wanted to use it with the micro bit so I thought I'd give you an update on that. So an interesting and useful thing that I noticed is that when I when I connected it up to the micro bit so the micro bit is a three volt device whereas the Arduino that I used the other day is a five volt device so I wasn't sure that this could work with three volts but if you see so the LED, the power LED's on here. So I found that when I wired it up to three volts, in fact, it does power on. So we're actually in a good position to try and use it directly without using any sort of level shifters or, or whatever, which would make it more, more complex to wire this up. Um, so uh, I've got this extender board here, which I've You've probably seen before if you watch my videos because I because I use these to uh, to wire up the micro bit. So what I've done is I've connected the power as before and then the three pins here 13, 14, 15 I've got mapped to DIO clock and strobe. Um, so I you know, so it should be possible to control this device in the same way. What's happened there? I've got no, uh, of course, put it in backwards. <sighs> All right. Um, <clears throat> so, in actual fact, this older micro bit, the original micro bit, doesn't seem to work. Because uh, when I load the software into it, which we'll see in a moment, when I load the software into the old micro bit, it doesn't have enough memory, so I wasn't able to use that. So let me put in the new micro bit. This is the more recent edition. You can you can easily visually tell them apart because the new one has got these cutaways in the edge connector at the bottom. So it's plugged in, it's powered on. Uh, so <clears throat> what I need to do is load some software into here. So, so I'm going to use um, MicroPython. Now I had a search around and I found there was some code for this display in MicroPython. It wasn't for the micro bit, so I had to make some small uh, small changes to the source code to make it suitable. So I've borrowed that library from Mike Causa. And um, so thanks Mike for making that public on GitHub. And um, so I made some small changes to his library. And uh, so, so I'll show you what that looks like in terms of uh, how it runs. We'll go through some of the the demo so I'll put that there so we can have that on the screen right so this is the mu code editor I'm going to be using to talk to the micro bit so this is the library based on Mike's original Python library for um, other ARM devices. So if I pull this one over, I can give you a bit of a demonstration, show you this working. Okay, so that's so now that library's resident on my micro bit. Uh, let's go to the REPL so I can send some commands. So if I... Uh, from micro bit import star so you need the micro bit library to access various things and I also need from TM 1638 
import TM 1638. So, so TM 1638 in lowercase is the name of the module and TM 1638 in uppercase is actually the name of the class. So when you create an object of, of that class, you can access this display. If we go through some of the examples from Mike's original README, first of all, we have to define our object. So TM 1638, which is the library name, TM 1638 object name and I'm going to put in pin 15, pin 14, pin 13, which are names that have been imported from that microbit library. Ah, no, because I've already defined, I've imported TM 1638, I can just do this. There we go. So now TM is a an object of that type. So if I do tm dot leds uh, ff for example, so you can see that all the leds at the top have come on. Or if I put in fifty five, it's the oh, every other led is lit. Or zero, obviously, to switch them off. Um, and we can do tm dot show cool that was another thing that Mike had. So that writes cool to the display. I hope you can see that. Move the wires out of the way a bit. Or we can put a b c d e f g h. Is that eight? Yeah. So, so we can write letters to the display. We can also do tm dot number. Sorry, that's not a string. Four two zero one five, for example, and that writes the number on the display. Uh, there's also a hex. Hex. Ox. There you go. Um, <clears throat> what else? We can do tm uh, dot brightness three. That makes it a bit dimmer, like so. Tm dot clear, clear, clear the display. Uh, and then there's also the press button. So we can do if we say. Uh, tm dot keys. That's returning zero at the moment. But if I press this button here, it returns a one. If I return the second one, it returns a two. And the one at the end returns one two eight. So you can have multiple buttons. You can hold down multiple buttons, and it will sum up those powers of two to tell you exactly how many how many buttons have been pressed. I forked my version of Mike Causer's library. So if you want to go and download the version for Microbit, you can. Um, I could show you also the changes I made briefly. So if we have a look in this tm1638.py, which is the, the whole library, basically. Um, so I've imported some things from the Microbit library, which are essential for using the micro bit. Um, the most important thing are the pin names. So the pin names are different in the uh, micro bit version of MicroPython. So uh, here, for example, so I'm doing these commands like set pull to set the pull up and uh, write digital is the correct uh, the, the correct function to change a pin from not to one or one to zero so you'll see some small differences there 
Um, but largely all I've done is replicate the functionality that was there and um, you know change these these pin operations to the ones suitable for the micro bit. So uh, there you go that's um, basically all I've got to say about that. Uh, do give me some feedback if you use this library yourself and uh, thanks very much for watching.